Hello and welcome back everybody. Today, something different. For a long time, I've kind of avoided doing reviews on this channel of discontinued fragrances. I think mainly because my thinking was, you know, if they're, they're no longer around, um, you know, I'm wasting a review on, on something. But, you know, there is... I've come to know that people are interested in what discontinued fragrances actually smell like and in some cases some that are still relatively easy to find and buy. Today's review, as you can tell from the thumbnail, is Gucci Envy for Men. This was released in 1998 um, while Gucci was under the creative direction of Tom Ford. The perfumer is uh, Daniela Andrier, and I've got to tell you, before I get into uh, smelling this, I I was always when I started to get into perfumes seriously, um, I was always very interested to smell this in particular, just because it's kind of built up a bit of a uh, a legend uh, around it, and. It, it is strange to someone who is kind of more familiar, more familiar with today's designer world than people who were familiar with the designer world of 20 years ago. Um, I know in 1998 when this was out in the early 2000s, I wasn't that interested in, in fragrances and perfume. I, I probably had one or two that I would wear all the time. I was aware of Gucci Envy for Men, but I just never bothered to pick it up and smell it. Um, same thing goes for things like Dolce & Gabbana's The One uh, and whatever else was out at, at that time. Okay, so let's get into the smell. What I get in the opening is, to, to my nose, a very distinct ginger scent that's blended with citrus. And to me, the citrus here is mainly bergamot. Um, there are e there's even something almost like lime in this citrus. Now, I, I want to, at this point, just say, here's another example of perfume pyramids and how useful or useless they are. I had a look at the, the listed official notes on the Parfumo web website, and ginger isn't even listed uh, here uh, on this site, whereas on Fragrantica it is. Um, and I know that Parfumo do try and get their official notes and copy them directly from the brand or the house from their website. So it could be that Gucci never listed ginger as a note here, but it, it's kind of unimportant anyway, because I smell it and I smell it blended with, with citrus. Now, um, as it begins to dry down, uh, I start to get some warmer spices. I think what I'm smelling is something close to a combination of cinnamon and clove, maybe even nutmeg. There's nothing sharp here because the ginger provides that sharpness along with the citrus. And then what happens is the citrus starts to, to kind of warm that up and smooth that out. Sorry, I meant the spices start to warm it up. Uh, as it goes into the heart, this is where I think th this... I will say that this is one of the best openings, uh, one of my favourite openings to a perfume. It, it automatically puts a smile on my face. There is something quite uh, positive and uplifting about this opening. And I think, I think ginger is a type of spice that does that generally especially when it's as well blended with uh citrus and spice uh as this is so i really 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 like the opening of gucci envy for men as it dries down it goes into this lovely woody face and the the woods that are used in here is they're kind of almost like a shapeshifter and I get at different times um, this kind of cross between um, <clears throat> an earthy vetiver, a, like a peppery cedar, and then this like beautiful salted buttery sandalwood. Um, 
and it's all very smooth and 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 beautifully blended that you can't really tell i know a lot of people talk about the sandalwood note in here to me it's not just sandalwood that's what i love about this because um it is it's a bit of a shape shifter as it develops then as you approach the base of the fragrance there is only what i can describe as this kind of a chord like it's almost like um frankincense with some floral petals of some description sprinkled over the burning frankincense and vanilla pods added to it and you you kind of get whatever is coming off that that you know mixture that that incense potpourri with vanilla pods the, there there are florals in here and i the closest thing that i can the thing i can i smell a little bit of is is something like carnation there is certainly that kind of clovey uh warmth to the florals in here probably you know there's probably lots of well not lots of there's probably um something like eugenol being used in here either way it smells it smells great so the the artistry a couple of things the artistry here is the fact that this is so well blended that it that you can recognize different distinct faces phases of this fragrance uh, but so well blended that it is quite difficult i guess to some noses uh to pick out individual individual things it's it's a bit of the um the art of perfumery coming out here and which leads me to this point this was a designer from gucci and this was i guess what designer perfumery used to be like look i don't know i don't i don't actually know the reason why this was discontinued why gucci pour om um, was discontinued i don't know if it had anything to do with tom ford leaving gucci but either way the the fact that stuff like this was getting made um, and available on designer shelves back in the late late 90s just kind of blows my mind because this is you know this is something i would expect to smell in niche perfum perfumery now i don't know what that says about niche perfumery or what that's it well it's certainly saying something about designer perfumery now but um you know like if this was available now it would probably be like it you know it would be probably one of the best sellers uh on on the designer shelves it is still available on e things like ebay but the the prices are just ridiculous and my my view is generally you know stuff has if this was regular designer prices even a little bit higher end i would have no hesitation in buying a bottle but i do i do stop i do balk and draw the line at the price some of the prices that this is getting um sold for on ebay but the, those prices prices are only as high because people are still well uh, willing to pay for it and i can understand why people do still love this fragrance and if you you know like if if a hundred mil bottle happened to fall on my lap i'm not going to be giving it away and it'd be more than enough to last me for the rest of my lifetime one other point i want to make because this a fragrance like this did make me think of this i'm i think my my views on clones and clone more specifically clone houses uh, are well known I, I won't review them i won't wear them i won't promote them on this channel anyway but when you've got fragrances like this where i can't really think of anything else that smells like gucci envy for men or comes close to it that is out on the market this is where i think clones might have a use like if if someone made a 90 
99, uh, 95, 90, around that mark percent, close enough clone of Gucci Envy for men uh, and sold them at clone prices, I, I would snap up a bottle because A, I can't get the original. Uh, so there is an opportunity for a clone of Gucci Envy for men that gets close enough. I would probably wear it because I really like this scent. But, you know, I don't see clone houses doing too much classic discontinued fragrances. And, and I kind of ask myself, why, why is that a case? I, I don't know. Maybe it's too difficult to get and actually copy. Um, there might be something in that. Anyway, I'm just rambling. They're my thoughts on um, when clones and clone houses could actually be of some use making discontinued classics like Gucci Envy for Men. I really like it. I wouldn't pay the, you know, the, the market prices that this is going for at the moment. I'm very glad that I got to experience it. I still got a, a few wares in this decant here. But uh, yes, Gucci Envy for Men, nothing quite like it. It's a beautiful opening, great dry down and development, uh, spicy, woody, touch of floral and there is and there is I love that the sweetness here is just balanced perfectly um I don't have much else to say look if you want to see more reviews on discontinued fragrances it might be I'm happy to do them just might be hard for me to get my hands on on stuff that is discontinued because I generally don't go hunting for it but if I come across any samples of things that I have that are discontinued I'd be happy to do them uh Thank you again for joining me as always. Thank you for your support and I'll see you all soon. Bye.